Hey Crock Posse, Aunt Lou here, and today we are going to be making Crock Pot Cinnamon Peach Cobbler, all while having a whole lot of fun. Mm. Perfection! Hey Crock Posse, welcome back to Camp Ludacris! And today we are going to be making a recipe that mine and Chris's mama actually came up with. And it is super yummy and we love it. It is crock pot cinnamon peach cobbler. So you're going to see me glancing at my phone because, well, I'm in camp. I don't have a printer and I want to make sure that I get this just right for you. So anyway, what we have for our ingredients is a half a cup of melted butter. We're going to use two cups of sugar. We're going to use, and that's going to be divided. And then we're going to use a cup of self-rising flour. Make sure that's self-rising and not all-purpose. And then we are also going to be using nine tablespoons of this in a different part of the recipe. And then we're going to use a cup of milk and a teaspoon of cinnamon. I to find my cinnamon and my ingredients out here. And that's also going to be divided up between two parts. So instead of having a teaspoon measuring spoon, you're going to want a half a teaspoon measuring spoon. And then I've got my four cans of peaches um, that is going to make up our 60 ounces of peaches. So, okay, first we're going to take our melted butter and we're going to pour it in the bottom of our crock pot. Da, easy peasy. My table isn't quite level, so everything's kind of going to this end. So I'll make sure I level it up before um, I actually cook this. And let's see. Now, to, now we're going to mix together in my mixing bowl. We've got a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. If you want to put a little bit more. I'm not going to stop you. We love cinnamon around here. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a cup of sugar, Oop. I'll clean that up later as Mikey says. Now this is only a half cup measuring cup because I just grabbed the wrong cup. I have two sitting here. So I'm just going to fill that up twice for my cup of sugar. And then I need a cup of self-rising flour. And then um, a cup of milk. And that's gonna be it for this portion of what we're mixing together. So we're going to take all of this mixture and we're going to Mix it all together, get it nice and blended. Oh, it's already starting to smell good. I love cinnamon. How about you? Ooh. I don't know if you can see that, but it just went splatter splatter. So probably should calm down my stirring a little bit. And now we're just going to pour this on top of our melted butter. Make sure I get that all off of there. Now you don't stir this in. You just pour it on top, okay? So now we're going to take, I'm going to take another half teaspoon of cinnamon. Like I said, I like cinnamon, so I'm a little generous on my cinnamon, but that's totally up to you. And then we're going to take a cup of sugar, see if I can use the right measuring cup this time. There we go. And then now we're going to take nine tablespoons, so let's count them out. One. Two, you know if Mikey was here, he'd be going wah, ah, 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 like Count Dracula, or Count, Countula, what, what is his name? Leave me in the comments below, because I am totally drawing a blank on that. So that was two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, and nine. All right, and my phone went dark. <laughs> it got tired of waiting on me. All right, and then, um, so we are going to do four cans of peaches, but we're only gonna use juices from two cans, okay? So, we will, if I can get this off without making a mess, there we go. So one full can in. Uh-oh, do you hear the four-wheelers coming in the background? The kids are coming back. Two full cans, and now for these last two cans, I'm just gonna pull it up a little bit, and then I'm just gonna drain it into my other mixing bowl. And we're gonna drain off all the juices. Oh, I'm almost out of camera, sorry. So there's one like that. And then we are going to um, mix this all together until it's well blended. And so you're going to need a pretty big size bowl. Honestly, I would like to have a bigger bowl than what I have, but this is what I have in my camper. So this is what I'm using. So we're going to mix this together until it's well combined. Hang on, I've almost got it. Just a little bit more. Oh, now we're adding dogs into the mix. It's always fun here at Camp Ludacris. All right, so we're gonna take this and we are going to pour it all on top. Again, you are not stirring this in you're just dumping it on top of the previous step, okay? And something I just realized is that I forgot paper towels, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I got paper towels. So we're gonna, people ask about this all the time. The paper towel trick, you can also use like a tea towel, um, is to keep the condensation from dripping down from your lid down onto your baked goods that you're trying to make in your crock pot. So you're just going to take these and you're going to put them real tight. And what I usually do is I like to get one side in and then I'll pull it tight and then set the other side in. And so we are going to put the paper towels on, pull them tight, cover and cook on low or I'm sorry not low do not cook on low cook on high for one and a half to two and a half hours now Sir Hamilton is probably my best um, baking crock pot but I still turn it halfway through just in case um, he's getting kind of old and if he's getting a little cantankerous I want to make sure that any hot spots are not going to bake up one side and not the other so I generally just turn the insert about halfway through regardless of which one which crock pot I'm using but we are going to crock this for one and a half to two and a half hours and we will see you back in three two and we're back and it has been about an hour and 45 minutes of cooking time. Um, I just kind of kept a watch on it around the hour and 30 mark. So that just needed a little bit more time to set up in the center. And then you may be wondering, why is the whole crock pot not there? It's because at the end of this, after it has set up, you take the lid off and then you take the insert out and put it on a heat safe surface. And you let it sit for just a few minutes, maybe about five, until the edges start to kind of pull away a little bit from the edge of the insert. And then it's ready to go. So let's give it a try. Ooh, yummy, yummy. All right. Let's 
see if we can get this in here. So you can see you got like the cobbler crust, if you want to call it that, up here at the top. And then you got the nice filling in here in the middle and it smells amazing. Can you see that? Okay, so let's give this here a try. It's gonna be hot. Here, let's go down lower. Mm. Perfection. It's sweet. It's cinnamony. Cinnamony. Is that a word? It's peachy. Uh oh. Look out, guys. It's my birthday. <laughs> I want a bite. Isn't he such a pretty, pretty princess? Let's see if we can burn his mouth. That's a small bite. Oh, a hot. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are not a member of our Crop Classy family, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> if you would like to know every single time we post a video, blah, 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 um, hit the button called the ding -a -ling. No matter what you do, laugh often. Eat good food. Bye, y'all. Bye. Seriously, I'm taking it now. <laughs> okay. It's chaos around here. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're fine,